Hey guys, it's Kim here, and welcome to What Remains of Edith Finch. I am streaming this, uh, so you will see a couple of donations and stuff like that pop up if anyone feels like donating. Um, this is, uh, well, everyone's been playing it, and I really want to play it. I've, I've really been hankering after a good independent story game for a while, and this is made by the same guys who made... Um, uh, blah, 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 uh, the Unfinished Swan on PS4. Um, so yeah, let's get involved, because I'm, I'm looking forward to playing a good old story game. Um, I've been told it's like Gone Home, uh, that kind of thing, um, everybody's gone to the rapture. So here we are, what remains of Edith Finch? Oh, those are some very nice, what are they, lilies? Um, but yeah, what can I, what can I do here? Okay. Oh, I've, I've got a broken, um... A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just gonna start at the beginning with the house okay I'm just gonna start at the beginning with the house see I'm already I'm already intrigued color me intrigued uh, right is that the house that looks like a strange house a very strange house so this is uh, apparently like you know walking sim uh, I lived here until I was 11 but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms oh that sounds ominous what a strange house it looks a bit um Hal's Moving Castle. Also, very nice foxglove there. Um, I love foxglove. Love it. I'm trying to grow some in my garden right now. This is cute. Oh, is this like a little replica of the house? I like that. Having that. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago. Marked urgent. Open immediately. Well, that's not good. Doesn't sound like uh, my, my I bills. I back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Oh. Um, in her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what I'd unlocked. Okay, so mother has passed away as well, so no mother. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Hmm, well that's, that's depressing. Which way should we go? Should we go up or down? Let's go... let's go up. So... Here's an interesting word that I learned the other day called, uh, oh god, I'm gonna get it wrong. Shirin, Shirinroku? No, not Shirinroku. Let me just double check because I wrote it down and sent it to my mum because I love my mum. Uh, Shirin, uh, Shinrin Yoku, which basically is a Japanese word that translates as forest bathing. And it's the act of kind of I walking. I've been this way in a long time, but I saw a few have prints. Um, it's basically the act of walking through forests and just enjoying nature. Um, and apparently it's very, you know, it's good for the soul and good for, you know, relaxing, de-stressing, just enjoying nature. Ooh, it's a deer. Now my Legend of Zelda instincts are kicking in and I'm trying not to, you know, jump on it. Not shoot it, just jump on it and ride it. Hi, I'm a friend. I'm, I'm nice. I'm nice. But yeah, apparently there is a science behind uh, Shinrin, uh, already forgot the word, Yoku, Shin, and um, it's that trees and all that emit a chemical that helps them uh, basically fight off bacteria and uh, tree diseases. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. Mm. Um, and basically, it has a positive effect on human about my beings. That only the house knew the answers to. So there we go. A little, little bit of a uh, cultural uh, stimulation for you there. This the is a very exactly unusual like house. It, the way I've been dreaming about it. Tell you what, when I when I heard that this was based in a in a house, I did not expect the house. I thought it was going to be like a gothic mansion. I didn't expect it to be a crazy Hal's Moving Castle style house. Who's missing? Can I pick that up? Missing. Uh, Milton Finch. Okay, so we got Brother Lewis and we got Brother Milton. Uh, actually, if I bring this up, so here we go. We've got a little family tree. So this is Edith, who's us. Uh, so Milton, 1992 to 2003, so he was 11? Uh, Lewis, 88 to 2010, so that is 94, 26, I think? Uh, okay. Well, that's depressing. Um, so we've got two brothers gone, and a crazy dragon boat. 
What a crazy a house. Child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. I guess, I guess it's quite patched together. So lots of these uh, missing flyers everywhere. Good garden table. I need a garden table. It's starting to get sunny in the UK and now, I want a garden table to go sit outside. I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. I mean, it looks nicer than the usual gothic. Gothic house to go hide in. It's got a good view as well. Oh, I like it. Don't know what you're complaining about, kiddo. <sighs> Hello. Oh, compost. Do you know, this is really just reminding me that I've got a lot of gardening work to get done. I hope the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Hmm. We gotta go around the bick. Hello? Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. Hmm. How am I gonna get in then? Can I just bang on the door? Well, I guess we've got to find another way in then. Uh, right, let's go around the back. Hey, I have a hose thing that looks like that. And I, and I have a recycling bin as well. Oh, this game is like totally me. Ooh, dog door. Dog door? Cat door. <laughs> Raccoon door. Can I get in here? Is this legit how we're getting in? Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. <laughs> That's legit how we just got in there. Brilliant. The power had been turned off the night we left. Right. Bleach. Bleach. I have bleach. I can relate to that. Uh... Uh, right. For the first time in years. For the first time in years. Oh, here we go. We've got some names. We've got Edie, Dawn, Lewis, Milton, and Edith. Those are old-fashioned names. I felt like I was home. I mean, it does look very homely. Even though I'm guessing everybody's dead. Everybody's but dead. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. So Edith is us. Edie is our, well, it looks like our grandmother. Dawn, mother, Lewis, bro. <laughs> uh, in loving memory of Lewis Finch. So he died in 2010. Beloved brother to Edith, so that's us. Son of Dawn and great grandson to Edie. So, oh, so she's our, she's our mother's grandmother. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, this is going to be a sad game, isn't it? Uh, lots of Chinese takeaways here. Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. I mean, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with noodles. Can attest. That's a lot of canned well, food. After Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Well, that explains that. Uh, we got some apple pie. American recipe. Cups. Cups. I think Duncan and I know not to use cups anymore. <laughs> uh, let's go this way. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Okay, so something happened that caused everyone just to leave. Is that blood or is that ketchup? What do we think? Blood or ketchup? Um, so Edie had a wheelchair and a oxygen thingamajiggy. Breathalyzer? My mom was the only one of us who could imagine great grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Hmm. Uh, nice uh, docking station, mate. Um, I love how many books these people have. Holy Nothing crap. in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. That's not helping, is it? Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house. After it sank. Okay. So... I guess that's the base of the house, and then... It sank into a swamp thing? I don't know. Um, 
Oh, look, spooky Halloween children. Ugh. I love this. I love how many books they have. Oh my gosh. One thing I need to show you guys is my new um, study. I now have a studio room. Mm. A good old, a good old studio room. Um, Dawn Finch living room. So there's moving boxes here. So what? I'm really confused. It looks lived in, but there's a moving box there. Got music. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. That's kind of terrifying. <laughs> it's quite scary. So she's in a movie about Bigfoot? Directing a movie, Barbara Finch. So which one's Barbara Finch? Uh, Edie. Uh, Odin. That's a good name. Um, so that's this branch of the family tree. Okay. Uh, that's not spooky at all. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. This family hasn't had the best of luck, has it? So they left November 2010, I'm guessing. So let us head upstairs. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Oh. I mean, isn't that a bit weird, Mum, to just seal all the bedrooms up? Like, that, that's a little odd. Uh, Calvin and Sam. Why are all these people dead? Uh, Gregory? Well, that's just weird, because that's one year. Was Gregory one year? Calvin is 11 there? But then there's Sam as well. Uh, Sven and Edie. Sven is 50? Ish. Yeah. Uh, and then Edie is, whoa, really old. Um, okay. I mean, that seems perfectly normal. You know, I'm just gonna, just gonna seal up all the, all the doors. Um, hello, my Whenever friend. people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Well, she made a cool movie about Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Barbara. Who's this real looking Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. Odin. That's a cool name. Barbara. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what these dates are. Are these like dates that people lived in the house, maybe? Um, well, this. Oh, so. I, I mean, that's a cool idea that they get to paint their own doors. That's pretty badass. Um, wow, that is the poshest wine case I've ever seen in my life. Um. And that that's a weird door. Right, before we go up there, I just want to check over on this side. To see what else we've got. That looks like a crazy room. You look like a strange man. Uh this is Molly. So again, that's ten years. And that's a that's a creaky noise. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Okay, so this is Great Uncle Walter. Uh, is he on the thing? Okay, 1952 to 2005. Um, this is a cool room. I like this. I like, is that the house underwater? That's a pretty cool. That's a whale shark. I like whale sharks, they're cool. Uh, right, let's go. told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, one of the original adventure stories. Oh! Okay. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. This is one crazy ass house. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Okay. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Wow, weird. 
What a weird game. Good stained glass window, though. Last time I saw good stained glass windows was at the um, Ghibli Museum in this. Tokyo. Maybe it sounds like I had a plan. I mean, it's definitely not creepy finding uh, prams in wall sp crawl spaces. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Whoa, now. Sorry, and that's like my I Xbox had no controller. Idea where all this was gonna lead. Secret sibling room? Do you know what? These rooms are so much nicer than uh, my rooms. My rooms are just a mess of Ikea furniture. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Okay. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. <laughs> okay, where's the gerbil now? <laughs> I'm really weirded out by all of this. I'm weirded out by the fact that you access Molly's room through Uncle Walter's room and like there's secret crawl Being spaces. For the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Like why was this sealed off? What? <laughs> Did everyone just have like smallpox or something? Uh, okay, so there's a little map of the room. Of the house even. December 1947. So Molly is on one of the older lines here. Ten years old. When she passed away, apparently. So I guess she passed away and they sealed up the room? I had spent a lot of time here. Before my mom sealed the doors. Okay. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's gonna happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Okay. I mean, that's just a fake apple, isn't My it? My Halloween candy was all gone. Well, that sucks. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Okay. Um. Oh, I've got a little goldfish. Hey, little goldfish friend. Oh, you've got a little house too. I thought about. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. <laughs> Don't eat Christopher. That's rude. Don't eat your pets. This game is creeping me out. Cre creeping me out. Why is everything so dark? I can't see anything. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. But I'm hungry and you've locked me in and I don't understand. Okay. Oh, there's a little room here. Oh, toilet! Can I eat the holly? I'm so short. I kept eating and eating. To toothpaste, sure. I mean, this I ate a lot of things that night. They're probably not healthy for you, kid. Um. Christ, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why you're uh, not around anymore eating. Then I heard chirping outside my window. Hello. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. Mm. And suddenly... What? I was a cat. Uh, what? Okay. I am a cat now. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Is it Christmas time? Yeah, it's Christmas time. Uh. 
Little bird. I want to be your friend. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. So isn't this, um... Sven and Edie's room? I think. Maybe. Where am I going now? Over here. Doing. Oh, I'm a cat. I'm a cat. I'm a cat. I'd love to be a cat. I think I was a cat in a past life. I love sleeping in moonbeams. Uh, moonbeams? Sunbeams. I like chasing birds. I like sleeping. I jumped and I almost got her. Oh, getting mad. Getting mad, bro. Ooh, secret tree house. Can I not I climb up? I tell she was getting really tired. Why are you trying to eat the bird? Stop trying to eat the bird. Now I was up in the big tree. Yeah. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. <laughs> That's a bit messed up, kids. Like, what? What if she has babies? I gobbled her up. <laughs> And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Where are they? To the left. To the, okay, there we go, there we go. I swoop! I am the angel of death! I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up. And I didn't chew one bit. That's a big then owl. Flew off to find something bigger. I mean, that that's a really big owl. <laughs> if you could eat a rabbit. So we're eating mum rabbits now. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. Um, sure. I'm a shark, guys. <laughs> what? What? What is this? What the hell? Look at my floppy shark form. Behold, the majestic creature of the sea. I rolled off the cliff and into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. I think this kid is tripping out on those red berries she ate. Gotcha. <laughs> this is so strange. Oh my god! Like <laughs> this ten-year-old child has really messed up dreams. <laughs> oh, I just thought it was gonna be a nice game about like exploring a house. Grabbed on tight. When I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. Okay. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. What am I now? I'm a... What? Guys, I'm a tentacle? Uh... Guys? <laughs> I thought this was going to be a nice game about exploring houses. Uh, but I appear to be a tentacle now. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just a tentacle. Now I was a monster and I smelled people out there. Okay, so we're going to eat people now. <laughs> this kid is so messed up. I just have dreams about Tom Hardy and stuff. Like, oh, hello. I real quiet. What? I just ate a human. <laughs> Hello? I to stop, but also, I did it. Hello, humans. You seem really tasty. Oh. 
What should we do with the drunken sailor? Chop him up and eat him. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Hello, Captain. I'm a monster from the beast. I was still hungry. And across the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have. So I swam towards it. Oh, we're still a monster. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. What is going on with this game? What? I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, we're back out of the toilet. Okay. Are we back in our house? Yeah, we must be back in the room. I got closer and closer. And we're back in the room. Where are we going now? All my stomachs. All my stomachs started growling. Okay. And suddenly, I was me again. sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Right. Cool. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so weirded out right now. <laughs> so weirded out. Um, okay, well that's Molly. 